Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to how and where did you and Onekomen meet? Well, we met in Lagos in 1980 when, okay. uh, when we were called to serve at the National Youth Corps, you know, okay. and uh, we happened to be in the same camp. Uh, well, we are all uh, in uh, Yabatek, we are all put in Yabatek, but our primary assignment was somewhere in Ibutemeta, and uh, the assignment was that we are going to build a culvert. And uh, uh, you know, you know, some media people today, you know, we're all in that uh, team. And our primary assignment was in Ibutemeta to build a culvert. And I remember that uh, she came in, you know, with this air of uh, uh, people who just arrived, you know. And I was quite young then. In 1980, I think I was about uh, 20, 22 or thereabouts, you know. I left school quite early. And, uh, of course, she came with her uh, effizy, you know, call it then. And me too. I had my own swag, you know. And uh, so we'll just sit together. She, I'll see her looking at me from the corner of her eyes. You know how Onyeka behaves. I mean, to be eyeing her from the corner of my eyes. You know, she'll wear this hat. You know, then to so come to a place with your uh, shorts in 1980, it, was, it wasn't something we were used to. So for anybody who had that daring, you know, to come outside with their shorts and not even a long one, something we might even call a bomb shot today you know and i say eh? where did this one come from and then, you know but later we hit it off and that's how we uh started uh, being friends and how how do how did we actually break the ice of course she came she would smoke and i say wow it was something i wanted to do too because uh, i remember my grandmother used to smoke and then we'll go to the back you know, take a, a pipe and cigarettes and go to the backyard and smoke it and come back, you know. And then I see a lady who can do it in public. Wow. Then I one day I walked out to her, I said, can I have a stick of cigarettes? She just looked at me and said, no, 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 no. If you want to smoke, buy your own cigarette. <laughs> so it's like, if you want to do these bad habits, you go ahead and do it yourself. I shouldn't be the one to bring you in. And so that's how our friendship started. Did I end up smoking? Yes, I did, but uh, it wasn't for long. So for how long did you smoke eventually? Well, it was just for that, the craze for that moment, you know. But I found myself going into that habit later in life on my own, and I also stopped on my own. And then she too, I mean, we didn't stay long on it. It was just the fun of it. And me, I used it to wave off a lot of things, you know. I remember, well, I'm not going to be modest about it. People say I'm beautiful and all that. As a young girl, I was very beautiful. And uh, so, and men didn't like women who smoked. So I always had cigarettes in my bag. Anytime I find that anybody wants to disturb me, I just light it and that was it. <laughs> it's like, ah. It's <laughs> oh my God. Now, from uh, your close uh, interactions with Onyeka, what kind of person would you say she, she was? Mm -hmm. Onyeka was... Um... <laughs> was a very complex person, I mean. But on the whole, she was a um, hardworking, very hardworking woman. Very, very hardworking woman. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't suffer, she didn't suffer fools gladly. And uh, highly intelligent, but a very, very reserved person. You know, she kept to her own. And then uh, she doesn't like being cheated and uh, she was honest to a fault very bold i mean that's one of those are the things that brought us together i'm a very bold person 
and I'm very blunt, you know, blunt to a fault. Onyeka was also blunt to a fault. If 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 she didn't want something, there were no pretenses about Onyeka. She would tell you of it, whether it's in the middle of the road or privately or publicly, she would tell you how she felt and she moved on. But the beauty about Onyeka was that uh, there were no compromises in her life. I mean, she was one woman that believed that she had everything, every potential, you know, to achieve whatever she wanted to achieve. So there was no need compromising her values. And again, that's one of the things that brought us together. Uh, I don't believe in compromises. Onyeka would not compromise her belief, her values, who she is, because she wants to get something. And you know, in the industry where she belonged, a lot of that went on. And so you find her working so very hard, extra hard, to get something, and she did, and she got to where she was through this uh, um, character traits. And then she had fear of God. Onyeka loved God. I mean, like we said, maybe uh, about 10 years ago, we were just sitting, I think we were eating at a southern sun, and I said, Onyeka, did you ever realize you are a gospel singer? Because if you trace her music from the very beginning, Onyeka, is, her message is about love. Her message is about unity. Her message is about peace. All right? Then, and then we now went on to this song. Kaije nanke bishop una five akwala. You know? And that story was telling about mwambuna fone mwangurio. You know? That was Elizabeth. You know, Elizabeth said that when Mary came, the child in her womb leaped for joy. You know, and is it love? Is it uh, uh, wait for me? You know, so Onyeka has been a, God, a gospel singer and then she loved God and she showed this through her music.